I'm Tom Pitstick, Chief Marketing Officer of Gates. We were founded in Denver, Colorado a little over 100 years ago and started off by revolutionizing and converting from leather products to rubber products in the early 1900s. Today we're converting from industrial chains to, to belt drives. Industrial chains are driven by these heavy, nasty, greasy, rusty chains. Here's the industrial belt that does the exact same thing. I'd like to share with you real quick an example of a customer who's recently converted from chain to belt in their application. I'm a motorcycle guy, so I've ridden a lot of gas bikes. It took me about maybe a week of commuting on an electric bike to realize that I don't want a transmission, I don't want the vibration, I don't want the noise. I want to just focus on the road. The first time that I rode a Zero Motorcycles, it was a chain drive. And the only thing you could hear was the chain. And a chain, it is, it is not a very pleasing sound. When I first got to Zero, one of my first calls was to Gates, and I say, we have to have a belt on this thing. The magic carpet ride is the phrase we use to describe the feeling you get when you ride our motorcycles with the Gates belt. A long time ago, we used to have a chain drive, and it made a lot of noise and vibration. And the instant we had our first prototype running the Gates belt drive, it was so smooth. It completely transformed the motorcycle experience. Part of what makes this, this motorcycle, the SRF in particular, is so phenomenal is the amount of torque that it puts out. It's an electric motorcycle and the powertrain is very different and what we're doing with this powertrain is very different. It's not easy to design a belt drive in a small package. We were able to make it work with the amount of torque that motorcycle is able to put out. I was working with an individual that really got it you know, at Gates, and the team at Gates said, hey, yeah, let's see what that looks like. And what we ended up with, the original belt on the Zero motorcycle, was a pretty small and unobtrusive belt versus what you would see on an internal combustion engine. So that degree of collaboration was critical. When I'm on a Zero motorcycle, I feel like I'm flying. With the direct drive of the Gates belt system, there's no shifting at all. You don't have to worry about Am I in the right gear? Combine that with 140 foot-pounds of torque from zero RPM, and you've got arm-stretching violent acceleration anytime you want it at any speed. You guys should get on a bike. <laughs>Application from Zero Motorcycle is a really cool application. I, I had a chance to ride one of their bikes recently and it's, it's amazing how smooth and quiet it is. Let me talk to you today about a, a new product we're launching based on the same DNA as that polychain industrial belt that I showed you. Today I'm proud to announce Gates' latest belt drive technology, the Gates Carbon Drive Moto X9 belt designed specifically for motorcycle and scooter applications. Let me also introduce Jeff Schubring. Jeff's an application engineer with Gates. He's been here roughly 10 years and has designed over 150 powered belt drive solutions for motorcycles, scooters, and other applications. Jeff's gonna to explain to you a little bit about what makes this belt so great and how it's enabling new and exciting motorcycle and scooter applications around the world. Thanks, Tom, for that introduction. I'm very excited to be here today and present in front of everyone. Uh, with the Moto X9 construction belt, which is the latest evolution from Gates. Um, Gates has been in the, in the motorcycle scooter industry uh, since the 1980s, when we first put a, a belt on the modern motorcycle drive. Uh, since that time, Gates has continually improved and innovated our construction technology to reduce our, our overall belt and, and package width size all the way from you know, above 30 millimeters wide down to where we are today, below, below an inch, and, and narrower for some scooter applications as well. Uh, through the advanced technology of, of con materials, constructions, processes, Gates has been able to truly innovate as peak torque and horsepower increase over time. We've still been able to narrow our belt drives uh, to that same width or equivalent width of, of chain. And overall, 
a slimmer belt or a slimmer drive results in slimmer sprockets, slimmer package size, slimmer costs as well, which is overall win for the system. Gates Carbon Drive Moto X9 synchronous belt is the latest innovation in, in technology. It's really made up of three main components. We have the carbon fiber cord or tensile member. We have the, uh, the compound, which is polyurethane. Then we have the nylon uh, wear layer, which is on the tooth, tooth surface. The carbon fiber cord itself is our latest generation. We'll, we'll touch on that a little bit later, but the, the technology there is the most advanced carbon cord yet from Gates. The polyurethane compound is the industry leader for load carrying capability and two shear resistance. The urethane itself actually encapsulates and impregnates the carbon cord, you know, compared to a rubber compound, which just encircles the cord and doesn't really get locked inside. The urethane actually impregnates it and becomes one composite structure body. And then last but not least, the nylon tooth wear fabric layer is the first line of resistance for, for wear, for noise, for NVH issues, and for, for your initial tooth cracking, which is gonna occur over time. So together, all these three main components make up the strong structure that is the latest X9 belt. So you may be asking, why, why carbon? Why carbon cord? Well, Gates has been putting carbon cord into our motorcycle and scooter drive belts for almost 20 years now. Gates pioneered the use of carbon fiber in a dynamic application around the turn of the century. You may be familiar with carbon fiber in automotive components, body components, uh, but using carbon in a dynamic flexing application has truly been innovative and turned the market on its head. There's a few main reasons why carbon fiber is so innovative. First and foremost, it is a high flex fatigue resistance. It's better than cords such as steel, glass, or even aramid or Kevlar fibers. Uh, it has a very high modulus, meaning that the pitch fit stays consistent under various loads. And that's super important on motorcycle and scooter applications where our belt tensions are, are really low to start with due to hub load concerns. So having that consistent pitch fit over time is, is key. Uh, carbon has a very, very high strength to weight ratio, obviously. So that's, that's why with, with carbon cord, we're able to go narrower and narrower on these drive applications. And then finally, carbon fiber itself uh, does not have major issues with environmental degradation or environmental resistance. If you splash water on the drive, run through puddles, uh, drip oil, grease, or other contaminants on the belt, carbon fiber does not swell, it does not delaminate, it does not have issues with these typical uh, environmental factors that these sort of motorcycle and scooter drives run into. Uh, compared to other cords such as glass or aramid or Kevlar, which may have issues, carbon fiber truly is a dominant force for these type of applications. Now I'm gonna touch on a few case studies to showcase how the latest X9 belt in 11 millimeter pitch can truly transform your drive application, whether it be a motorcycle, scooter, 14 millimeter pitch, uh, eight millimeter pitch, or even a current chain or shaft drive. The first case study here is a uh, case study showcasing an internal combustion engine motorcycle uh, that's currently 14 millimeter pitch. Now that drive is a 2866 ratio. Um, with the 14 millimeter pitch, as you can see here, we have pretty large sprocket diameters. If we convert this drive to the X9 11 millimeter pitch construction belt uh, and keep the ratio the same, keep the sprocket tooth counts the same, we're actually able to reduce this, these diameters significantly, uh, as you can see on the screen, and keep the, keep the ratios the same. Another example from the motorcycle segment is for a possible upgrade of an electric motorcycle. Uh, with 14 millimeter pitch, the, the minimum sprocket sizes and maximum sprocket diameters limit us on how much ratio we can actually achieve. By dropping this system down to 11 millimeter pitch instead of 14 millimeter pitch, 
we can drop down to a 20 tooth driver sprocket, keep the driven sprocket diameter the same, and almost double our overall drive ratio here, jumping up to a four and a half to one ratio from the previous two and a half to one ratio. With this increase in, in ratio, especially for electric motorcycle drive, uh, we have the possibility here to potentially eliminate your gear ratio upstream in the drive or substantially reduce how much gearing is, is necessary uh, in order to transfer that motor torque to the rear wheel. On the flip side of things with electric scooters, uh, converting eight millimeter pitch systems to 11 millimeter pitch systems is a no brainer as well. In this first case study example here, we show a high torque, high speed, high ratio drive with a relatively low, low life, 20,000 kilometers in, in this example. The current existing drive is a 27, 125, eight millimeter pitch system that gives an approximate ratio of 4.6 to one. By pushing this system up to 11 millimeter pitch, we're able to keep approximately the same sprocket diameters, the same ratio, but narrow the belt up at least four millimeters in width, reducing overall package size, reducing your sprocket costs as well. The other benefit with the 11 millimeter pitch X9 belt is that taller tooth, that stiffer tooth, that stronger tooth is going to allow for lower tensions in the drive as well, ultimately leading to a uh, lower resistance to ratchet threshold. The second case study here for electric scooter drives converting from eight millimeter pitch polychain over to the X9 construction, 11 millimeter pitch system is a lower power, lower torque, uh, lower motor speed, smaller ratio, but longer durability life system. So similar to the, the previous example for electric scooter here, we have a system with, in 11 millimeter pitch that fits the same package size, hits the same ratio, and allows for a, a further reduction in belt width as well here. Again, four millimeters reduction in overall package width. The same benefits are true as well. We have a larger tooth, a taller tooth, higher resistance to ratchet, and overall longer durability system switching over to the X9N construction. Our final comparison here for the Moto X9 construction is compared to the previous generation belt uh, of the same pitch. So if we talk apples to apples here, under the same load conditions, overall, the new X9 construction belt can be approximately 9% narrower than our, our previous gen technology. So what does that mean for you? Again, that means narrower belts, lower cost belts, lower cost sprockets, lower weight sprockets. Uh, all, all of these items are obviously benefits for, for the system as a whole. That carbon fiber cord technology in the X9 belt allows for about a 20% reduction in minimum recommended sprocket size. Previously with 11 millimeter pitch, we would probably recommend for most applications that 25 tooth is the absolute floor for smallest sprocket size you can go. Now with the X9 construction belt, uh, the cord is, is able to flex and bend at much smaller diameters, and we can go down to 20 tooth. So overall, that reduction in sprocket size really is a beneficial aspect of, of the new X9 construction. So when Gates comes out with a new technology belt, uh, we're not just talking, you know, some measly 10, 20, 25% improvement in life. You know, we're, we're almost doubling the life or 84% in, in this case, which is truly a substantial improvement. So you may be asking yourself, how do I get my hands on one of these new Moto X9 belts? Uh, and the answer to that is, is contact Gates using the information at the end of the presentation here today. Uh, up, upon your contact, we'll send you what we call our drive design data request form. So this is the first point of contact from a technical side in order to get the ball rolling. We'll ask you all the pertinent data about the drive, you know, how much power, what the torque is, what the duty cycle is, you know, your system constraints, all the good engineering stuff that's needed in order to get that ball moving forward. And then what Gates can, can turn around and do for you with all that information is a full analytical calculation report 
So we'll go over everything from geometry details, what potential ratios or options could work for your drive in particular. Uh, we'll go through and, and look at ultimate tensile strength, look at uh, two shear life calculations. We can look at NVH, noise frequencies, meshing frequencies. We can study your swing arm geometry, how that's gonna affect the tension, uh, give you recommendations for install tensions and, and slot lengths and alignment, all that good stuff to work with you up front and design the drive properly from the get-go. New Moto X9 truly gives a wide array of options for drive design. It's not one size fits all. Another thing that Gates offers to our original equipment manufacturers and motorcycle and scooter suppliers is a design guide for best practice procedures, uh, measurement options for, for belt drives in particular on, on these applications. So after your initial reach out or initial contact with Gates, this is something else that we can offer up as, as a starting point when you're looking at using belt. So thank you for the opportunity to present today on our exciting new Moto X9 belt for motorcycle and scooter applications. Uh, I really appreciate the opportunity and the time to present this, this info and exciting opportunity with you. Uh, to learn more and request our drive design input form, you can contact us at the address on, on the screen. We look forward to hearing from you and working together on our partnership to do a belt drive design for your mot motorcycle or scooter application. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jeff and Tom. All right, we will now move into our Q&A section. And uh, looks like we have Tom and Jeff here today. That's great. So our first question is, now that I know about this Moto X9 belt, where should I go to source the sprockets for this belt for my application? Yeah, so Gates is, is truly a full system solution supplier. You know, so we, we pride ourselves on being a material science company uh, with a, a highly technical uh, background as, as well. And as such, we know that in this system, not only is the belt drive uh, and the belt drive construction important, but how that belt interacts with the sprockets is, is just as key. And so we, we know the latest technologies, the latest surface coating treatments, uh, profile designs and ODs to be able to have a truly successful drive, not only for you know, wear and durability, but also for uh, uh, trickier things like NVH and, and noise concerns. Um, so Gates has a full, full array of suppliers, uh, um, tier one, tier two suppliers that, that source to Gates uh, solely on, on these sprockets, you know, whether it's a, a front, a small powdered metal front sprocket or a large die cast aluminum rear sprocket, Gates has, has the full uh, array of suppliers um, in, in the market that, uh, that we, can, we can source directly to you as, as the end customer. Also, Jeff, um, the next question is, what sort of tools are available or needed for maintenance and service? A, a belt drive, you know, unlike a chain drive where you have to uh, oil it, grease it, maintenance it uh, quite quite often and have a, a low service life overall as well, uh, a, a belt drive is virtually maintenance free. Um, so the only maintenance or, or service that really needs to be done uh, with, with a belt drive is, is periodic inspection and, and occasionally a, a retention of the system. Um, so with, with that being said, uh, Gates has the the Carbon Drive app, which is uh, out both on the uh, uh, the Apple side of things as well as the uh, the Android side of things. Uh, it's been out for for several years now here for the uh, the Carbon Drive bicycle uh, side of things. It, it could be used for motorcycle and scooter applications as well. Um, however, recently this year in 2021, uh, the app did go through a refresh, and now we have a uh, a specific portion of that app dedicated to motorcycle and, and scooter applications. So tensioning your uh, motorcycle or scooter drive has, has really never been easier than uh, just a touch touch on the old uh, smartphone there to uh, uh, get your frequencies. All right, this next question, um, Tom, is for you. 
Um, how are you leveraging developments you make on extremely difficult industrial applications in your developments related to products like Carbon Drive, Moto X9, and vice versa? Great question. Thanks, Marianne. Um, so you know, I think it's kind of a two-way street, right? We, we, we learn a lot um, our, through our application engineering teams, whether it's in a factory on a, on a pump drive or whether it's on a two-wheel application, like some of those that, that, that Jeff shared this morning. And we, we've, you know, we feed those application requirements into our R&D teams who have a lot of levers to pull. And, they, and, and some, some of the same levers, whether it's an industrial application or a, or a mobility application. Uh, material science that Jeff touched on, um, you know, we, we have a number of things we can do with the reinforcement, uh, with the elastomer materials, with fabrics, back fabrics, face fabrics, et cetera. We have um, a number of levers we can pull with process technologies to make sure the materials come together properly. And then we have a number of levers we can pull with um, just product construction itself, you know, cord, how, how much cord we use, so where we put the cord, et cetera, et cetera, that, um, you know, re really as we, as we, as we uh, <laughs> have worked on these applications for 20 some odd years, we've we found the commonalities between industrial applications and, and two-wheeler applications, and we found some of the differences and we've been able to learn from both. Um, yeah, I think it's it's really fantastic that we have a great application engineer, engineering team, including Jeff and many others that help us help us figure that out. Um, all right, uh, here's another question that has come in. Um, uh, Jeff, I think this one will be best for you. Is there a power limit for Moto X9 on electric or on internal combustion engine motorcycles? Power is a uh, is a tricky thing sometimes. Um, torque is really what the what the belt cares about ultimately. So we we know the relationship between uh, torque, power, and speed. But um, ultimately, with with a belt drive, uh, you know, compared to a, a, a chain system where we're set a set width, um, if, if the belt needs to handle more load, we we have two levers to pull. We can. Uh, either increase the belt width we can or we can look at uh, increasing sprocket diameters so between a combination of of the two of those uh we can really cover the full gamut of of potential powers or or, or torques um that a typical motorcycle or scooter drive um is going to require you know every application is is a little bit different so we'd want to uh look specifically at your drive and and we could uh do those different calculations different options you know 14 millimeter pitch is 11 uh moto x9 ideal we can we can look at those uh scenarios and really uh run the full gamut of calculations for you okay i want to reiterate um that for more information, and Jeff, you mentioned submitting a request for contact from our engineers or to request the drive input form. Um, you can visit gatescarbondrive.com slash moto x9, or you can email us at carbondrive at gates.com. Um, another question has come in. While opting for conversion from chain drive to belt drive, even though the TCO goes down and there are other advantages of lower maintenance, et cetera, the initial cost of belt drive is very high, which in turn leads to increase in motorcycle price for OEMs. How can we address this? There is that common myth that uh, that belt drive is, is super high in, in cost compared to, uh, to a chain system. Now it ultimately depends on on what sort of chain system you're trying to compare to. If you have a a very low low cost chain, of course those are in in their own uh, own category. But when we start talking about silent chain with uh, with O rings or silent chain, uh, um, uh, you know high performance motorcycle chain with with X X uh, O ring uh, capability, that that sort of technology does come at a cost as well. And ultimately, the biggest consideration here with with belt is the perception and the overall customer satisfaction aspect. You know, with with a chain, the customers know that they're going to you know have to service that chain very very pot periodically uh, re retention because of all the, uh, uh, the the slop that occurs every single one of those pins and 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 joints. Uh, you know, loosen up over time. Whereas with the belt, you know, we, you don't need to take it to the service dealership very often. It, it's not a constant maintenance item. It's, it's a check it, set it and, and forget it uh, sort of scenario. 
Um, no oil required, obviously, we touched on that already. Um, so it's it's ultimately the end end user satisfaction uh, as, as far as uh, cost of ownership uh, goes with these systems. Um, another question, does Gates have design and engineering resources based in India? Gates is a global company, and as as such, you know each of our our strategic regions, especially with our uh, our, our motorcycle and, and scooter customers, we have dedicated teams uh, on on the ground, you know, in in these regions in India, for example, uh, that cover these drives and have the knowledge to support you, uh, you know, on a one on one basis in in region. Um, our, our technology, especially with sprockets, is in region four region as, as well. So our, our supply base is, is very strategic in that, uh, that aspect. A reminder to visit gatescarbondrive.com slash Moto X9. Jeff, here's another question for you. Um, is Gates doing anything to address scooter use in dirt applications? You know, it it really depends on you know if, if your system is is fully enclosed or if you have an open drive system. You know, a fully enclosed system where you're not going to see uh, a high level of dirt and debris. Our our standard uh, belt drive offerings are are perfectly uh, perfectly fine in that environment. You know, that's that's pretty typical. Um, but Gates does also offer some solutions for, for that on-road, off-road type of application. You know, we have uh, sprocket technology and belt technology designed to shed the, the debris, the, the dust, dirt, uh, small stones and, and rocks that can, can go through these systems. Um, specifically, we have a, a mud port sprocket solution that is a good, a good option with a standard, a standard belt, say Moto X9. Uh, for example, and we also have a center track option, which is a uh, the perfectly the ideal solution, kind of a hybrid system between a belt and a chain that can withstand and shed that debris, even if you're going uh, off road. If I want to get more information to my team, is there a presentation or a tech meeting you can provide? After your uh, your initial contact or reach out to us, um, we we have a full full gamut of tech day uh, meetings or, uh, or 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 virtual virtual meetings uh, in in today's day and age that we can uh, we can offer for for both just a, from the commercial side, but also from the more uh, deeper level technical discussions. Uh, we have tech day options that uh, range anywhere from just a simple hour. Our meeting to uh, to a half day and, and and more that we can uh, you know discuss belt drives in in great detail and really take the system approach to your uh, uh, your application. So by contacting us, then you go into um, other steps to follow ups with some more tech event specific um, communications. Yes, vir virtual and mute buttons very common terms in today's day and age, isn't it? <laughs> Absolutely. Center track sprocket, sprockets, um, which is a new solution for debris shedding, correct? Center track, you know, has been been around actually in the uh, the carbon drive bicycle side of things for for quite some time, and uh, and Gates is is taking that technology and, uh, uh, for lack of a better term, beefing it up a little bit here, so we can uh, we can cover the full range of of motorcycle and you know, larger power, uh, larger torque uh, scooter drives as, as well with this, uh, you know, this technology that that sheds the debris, you know, away, uh, away from the system away from the sprocket, you know, kind of almost exactly like a like a chain does with the open, uh, open ports. All right, everybody, uh, again, a reminder to visit gatescarbondrive.com slash Moto X9. Um, you'll see an option there to download our white paper. And then also you can complete a contact us request um, so that Jeff and uh, the engineering team can follow up with you about your particular application. Uh, you can also email us at carbondrive at gates.com. We do have a poll in the LinkedIn event and we would very much appreciate your feedback on that poll. Uh, you also can submit additional questions in the LinkedIn event, um, and we can get back to you with those answers. Right, I want to thank everybody today for your participation and great questions. I hope you share the same excitement we do about this great new product, the Gates Carbon Drive Moto X9. Thank you. See you soon. Mm -hmm.